Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to It's Poppin' where we talk about everything pop-up camper related. So you're wondering how to buy a used pop-up camper. And here's what I recommend. Before you even go and see the pop-up camper in person, I would ask the seller a few questions. First thing I would ask is, do they have the title on hand? If they don't, it might make things a little bit more complicated, but if they do, great. Second thing I'd ask is if the particular pop-up you're interested in has any leaks or water damage or soft spots. If it does and the seller discloses that, it might not be a deal breaker, but it might be more work or effort or money than you might be willing to put into it. So it's definitely a good thing to know going in ahead of time. Uh, next thing you should ask is if all the appliances or amenities it has work and that's going to be totally dependent on the particular pop-up um, some might have air conditioner some might not some might have a shower or a cassette toilet some might not um, same thing goes for a water heater or an outside shower things of that nature but um, you know most will have a fridge or a stove um, or a furnace or, or something along that um, that line so definitely make sure that you ask if all the appliances or amenities work um, and when the last time they used each of those. Uh, a lot of sellers will say they haven't used um, a particular um, amenity such as the shower in the last couple of years. So make sure um, you know going in ahead of time what works, what might not work, um, things of that nature. Next thing you should ask is what the condition of the uh, canvas and screen material is. If there's any large holes or tears that aren't simply repairable with a small patch, it might be something to pass on. I would make sure to ask about uh, the tires, how old the tires are, and how much tread they have on them, or maybe even when the last time they were replaced was. Um, tires can run anywhere from maybe $100 for a set on up, depending on how many you need. Um, going along with that is the battery. If there's a battery, a deep cycle battery, um, it wouldn't hurt to ask when the last time that was replaced was or uh, if it's still working. Um, that could be you know, an, another $100 item if it needs to be replaced. Um, finally, I'll ask if um, you know anything else has been repaired or replaced. Um, commonly, you'll see maybe the, um, the roof lifting cables have been replaced, or the roof has been replaced, or the air conditioner has been replaced. Just something good to know going into it as well. A note on the NADA value. It's um, it's a great place to kind of get a starting point for pricing out a pop-up, but it's definitely not the end-all be-all. And you want to make sure that when you're going to enter the appliances or amenities that a particular pop-up has, um, in addition to the base pricing, you want to make sure those were options and not standard features. Um, if they're standard features, you don't add them into the price to get the actual data recommended value. Um, but it is a good place to start um, if you're not sure on what the what the value or what what you should offer. So moving on, when you actually go and see the pop up, if all the you know um, uh, answers to your questions are favorable, what should you be looking for? And this kind of goes hand in hand with what I asked the seller. Um, do you see any signs of water damage or leaks or soft spots in the floor? because if you do, that might be a deal breaker. On the outside of the pop-up, I'm gonna be looking for um, those joints in the roof, the joints in the side uh, sides of the camper. Um, I'm gonna be looking for um, if any of the caulking, any of the silicone caulking is cracked or damaged or missing um, where water could get in. I'm gonna be looking at the air conditioner where, the, um, where that, um, um, kind of uh, meets the roof to see if there's any soft spots or, or water damage in that area. Now another common spot you're going to see water damage is if the pop-up has one of those front storage boxes. Those are notorious for letting in water um, and that's an that's a easy way to see if um, uh, the pop-up's been compromised by water. While you're taking a look at the exterior, I would take a look at you know the condition of the tires, take a look at the um, appliances that are accessible from the outside, such as the refrigerator or the hot water heater, um, including all the um, 
water inlets, the electrical cord, um, the lights, the if there is one, the um, onboard water tanks underneath. Um, that's a good time to take a look at all that stuff. Now, once the pop-up is actually popped up, another place to check for uh, water damage is under the bunk ends. Uh, you'll see that that particle board sometimes wicks up some water. So another great place to check. Now, um, one more thing to check on the uh, exterior is uh, the propane tank and the battery. Those will usually be up at the front of, front of the camper. And um, also, it doesn't hurt to take a look at uh, the canvas and screen materials on the exterior just to make sure there's, like I said, not any major rips or tears. Uh, you don't want any bugs getting in while you're sleeping. <laughs> so, uh, moving on to the inside. Um, the first place I look for water damage or signs of leaks is in the corners of the roof. Um, there might be a valence or a curtain covering that area, so I definitely pull those down, take a look, and make sure um, there hasn't been any water getting into those areas. Um, around the air conditioner as well. Uh, for example, in this pop-up, the air conditioner had actually loosened up a little bit, and what I believe happened is that once the air, once the air conditioner was running, and producing condensation that was then running back into the camper and it had to de delaminated part of the kind of the ceiling material and um, now that's tightened back up it's uh, it's dried back out so another great place to look for for water damage is if there's a shower um, check around the shower where some water might get out and and suck it up into the kind of the cabinet material or the boards around the shower um, another thing I, I recommend doing is kind of stomping around a little bit, being a little heavy footed um, on the flooring just to make sure there's no soft spots um, that you may have missed while looking um, at the exterior of the camper. So the next thing, if it's not, um, you know, damage from water and there's no signs of leaks, great. The next thing I will take a look at is making sure all the appliances work like they should. So. Um, that can include the um, kind of the plumbing system, if you will. Um, so that could be the hot water heater, um, the shower, the sink, the um, uh, pump that um, pumps water from the uh, water holding tank if you're not connected to the city. Um, that can also be things like the refrigerator, the, um, the stove, the propane stove, um, as well as like the cassette toilet. Now I don't think the seller will probably want you testing out the cassette toilet, but um, maybe they will. Um, make sure you test out things like all the lights, uh, all the outlets, maybe bring a cell phone charger and, and plug it in and make sure all those outlets are working. Uh, the propane furnace, and um, of course uh, there's also the air conditioner. So um, I would just go around with the seller and make sure all those things are in working order. Now, if it's a pop-up on the older end and you don't, you know, really um, like the aesthetic or, you know, the decade that the uh, pop-up was uh, manufactured in, you can always change things um, like we did in this uh, 2008 StarCraft. Um, things like the flooring, the cabinet color, um, the countertop color, uh, the... Uh, cushions and curtains and valences. Those are all things that can be changed and um, you can make the uh, pop-up uh, look a lot better and a lot newer and a lot um, homier than uh, it might look. So don't fret if, uh, if um, that's something that uh, you think uh, needs changing. So the uh, big take home is just make sure really that there's no water damage or, or anything that will compromise the um, structural integrity, integrity of the pop-up and that all the appliances work and there's no you know major repairs that can cost more money in the end. Unless of course you're willing to do uh, those rep that repair work yourself.